What are the quickest cars you can buy? And I don't mean crazy expensive hypercars. I'm talking about the cars that accelerate quicker than any other car of their kind. So that means the quickest city car, the quickest hatchback, the quickest saloon car, the quickest estate car. Got it? All of those. Well, to find out, I've put together a list of the quickest accelerating cars you can buy from every segment. And I've ranked them according to how quickly they do 0 to 62 miles an hour. Why is it 0 to 62 and not 0 to 60? Well, it's because most manufacturers clock their cars from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour and 100 kilometers an hour is 62 miles an hour. Are you still with me or are you skipping like crazy? Anyway, I'm Mark Watson and you're watching Car Wow. Buying a new car? Then head to Car Wow and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. Car Wow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. The Abarth 595 started out as a Fit 500, but Abarth got rid of the wheezy 1.2 litre naturally aspirated engine and bolted in a 1.4 litre turbo petrol with 180 horsepower. This means the 595 does 0 to 62 miles an hour in 6.7 seconds. Okay, so that doesn't sound that quick, but it's quicker than any other city car you can buy. Take the Volkswagen Up GTI, for example. That takes 8.8 .8 seconds to do 0 to 62 miles an hour. Quick super minis like the Volkswagen Polo GTI and the Ford Fiesta ST are great fun to drive. These cars both have front wheel drive and around 200 horsepower, and they do 0 to 62 miles an hour in around 6.5 seconds. But there's a brand new super mini that's much quicker than this. It's the Toyota GR Yaris. Okay, so it comes with a 1.6 litre turbocharged three-cylinder engine, but this produces an incredible 261 horsepower. And unlike most Super Minis, the GR Yaris has four-wheel drive instead of being front-wheel drive. And it even has a carbon fibre roof to save weight. It comes in at less than 1,300 kilos, and this means it's quick. In fact, it'll do 0 to 62 miles an hour in 5.5 seconds. You can forget Super Minis, that's quicker than many hot hatches. Front wheel drive cars are tricky to launch. It's really easy to spin up the front wheels and waste all that engine power. But when you get it right, front wheel drive cars can be really, really quick. And the quickest of the lot is the latest Mini GP. This track ready hot hatch has 306 horsepower from its two litre turbocharged petrol engine. It also has a stripped out interior to make it as light as possible. It doesn't even have any back seats. As a result, it can do 0 to 62 miles an hour in 5.2 seconds. That's quicker than any other front wheel drive car on sale. Hot hatches have come a long way since the 70s. The first Golf GTI only had 110 horsepower, but now you can buy things like the AMG A45S with 421 horsepower. This isn't really a hot hatch anymore, it's more like a hyper hatch. The A45S actually has the most powerful two litre mass produced engine on sale today. And it has four wheel drive too, so it can actually use all of its power. Oh, and it gets a brilliant launch control system as well. And this means the A45S will do 0 to 62 miles an hour in 3.9 seconds. 3.9 seconds from a hot hatch. The next car on my list is the Lamborghini Urus. It's the quickest SUV you can currently buy. I know a load of people complained when Lamborghini said it was gonna build an SUV, but Lambo had already made a massive off-roader back in the 80s called the LM002. Although that was originally designed for the military, so it wasn't actually that quick even though it had a V12 from a Lamborghini Countach. It actually took almost eight seconds to do 0 to 62 miles an hour, but the new Lamborghini Urus is much, much quicker. It comes with a four litre twin turbo V8 with 650 horsepower, and that's enough oomph to blast it from 0 to 62 miles an hour in just 3.6 seconds. If I say fast estate, you probably think of an Audi RS6 or a Mercedes AMG E63S. Well, those cars are pretty quick, but the new Porsche Taycan Turbo S Cross Turismo is even quicker. This electric car does 0 to 62 miles an hour in 2.9 seconds. I think it takes longer than that just to say Porsche Taycan Turbo S Cross Turismo. Anyway, this is an estate version of the Taycan electric car, so it gets the same batteries and the same dual electric motors, which produce 761 horsepower in boost mode. Basically, it's big enough to carry a Greyhound and quick enough to outrun it. GT cars have to be quick and comfortable so you can speed across the continent to spend the weekend on your super yacht with your supermodel. And the quickest GT car you can currently buy is the Ferrari 812 Superfast. That's a whole lot of super going on. This car has a naturally aspirated 6.5 litre V12 engine, but even though it doesn't have any turbos nor hybrid gubbins, it still pumps out 800 horsepower. 
and that means it'll do 0 to 62 miles an hour in just 2.9 seconds. Okay, so it's actually the same time as it takes a Taycan Turbo S Cross Turismo to do 0 to 62 miles an hour, but I guarantee that the 812 will feel quicker because of the incredible noise it makes. <laughs> The aerial atom looks like it's made out of scaffolding, which it sort of is. So it's seriously light, no body panels. It weighs just a smidge over 600 kilograms. That's almost 400 kilograms less than a Volkswagen UP. But unlike the UP, which only has 65 horsepower, the Atom has a two litre turbocharged engine from a Honda Civic Type R with 320 horsepower. The Atom also gets the Type R's manual gearbox, and if you nail every single shift, it'll do 0 to 62 miles an hour in just 2.8 seconds. But there is a car that could be about to snatch the Atom's record. It's called the GMA T50. This is a brand new supercar made by the same guy who designed the McLaren F1, Gordon Murray. It has a four litre V12 with 663 horsepower and a six speed manual gearbox. Plus, it weighs less than a ton. So it's not gonna be slow, is it? but it hasn't been tested yet, so no one knows just how quick at accelerating it will be. The Porsche 911 Turbo S is one of the quickest cars I've ever driven, and it's also the quickest accelerating sports car on sale. It'll blast from 0 to 62 miles an hour in 2.7 seconds, thanks to its twin turbo 3.8 litre flat six engine and four wheel drive with launch control. And unlike some cars that need a bit of a rest before they launch properly, yeah, I'm talking about you BMW, the 911 Turbo S can keep doing insane launches over and over and over again. It truly is an incredible car. Amazingly, there's a family MPV out there that accelerates quicker than a Porsche 911 Turbo S, and it's the Tesla Model X. This eco-friendly seven-seater has just been given the Plaid upgrade, which means it's more powerful than ever. The latest version makes 1,020 horsepower, and it'll do 0 to 62 miles an hour in just 2.6 seconds. That's not only faster than any other seven-seater ever made, it's quicker than some serious supercars too. The Ferrari SF90 Spider has a four litre twin turbo V8 plus three electric motors and combined, they produce 1,000 horsepower. That means it's the most powerful Ferrari road car ever made. And because two of these motors drive the front wheels, the SF90 is also four wheel drive. So none of this power goes to waste it, we can all go down onto the road. Take a few brave pills and you can blast this convertible from 0 to 62 miles an hour in just 2.5 seconds, which is quicker than any other convertible on sale. Imagine the damage it could do to your hair, do eh? The next car on my list is the Bugatti Chiron Persport, and it's the quickest car you can buy that's powered by an internal combustion engine. And what an engine it is. It's an eight litre W16 that has four turbochargers and pumps out 1600 horsepower, which is 100 horsepower more than the normal Chiron. And that means the Persport can rock it from 0 to 62 miles an hour in just 2.3 seconds, or 0.1 of a second quicker than the standard Chiron. The next car on my list is the quickest accelerating saloon car ever. And you probably already know what it is, so I won't hang about. It's the Tesla Model S Plaid Plus a car that I'm gonna be getting. Anyway, this car has three electric motors and 1100 horsepower, and it can do 0 to 62 miles an hour in less than 2.1 seconds. Unlike most car makers, Tesla also quotes acceleration times of 0 to 60 miles an hour, as well as 0 to 62. So if you're wondering, the Plaid Plus will do 0 to 60 miles an hour in less than 1.99 seconds, which is utterly insane. There is one car out there that's quicker than the Tesla and it's called the Aspark Owl. Yeah, you heard that right. Owl, like the bird. Woohoo! Is that a pigeon or a dove? This electric hypercar looks more like a Le Mans racer than a road car, and it has four electric motors that make 2,012 horsepower in total. That's about 900 horsepower more than the Model S Plaid Plus. And this means it will do 0 to 62 miles an hour in an unbelievable 1.7 seconds that is quicker than any other road car ever made. Only problem is it costs more than two million pounds. That's about 1.8 million pounds more than the quickest Tesla Model S, and it's only 0.4 of a second quicker. Hmm. Not exactly good value for money now, is it? <laughs>